Tube Mockery so far here with a, another model railroad item review. This time as you can clearly see by what you see in front of you, it is a Bachman uh, Spectrum item number 83307 HO Light 2102 Loco with DCC Duluth Masabi and Iron Range number 511. Now, just a bit of history on this particular locomotive. It is a USRA Light 2102. However, on the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range, it was a class E1 2102, numbered after their, well, after the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range E class 2102s. Now, of the E class and the E1 class 2102s on the Masabi Road, only two are left. Of the E1s, it is the remaining one is number 502, and that is in the museum, well, the train, well, the train or transportation museum in St. Louis. And the other is the 506 from the E1 class, and that is currently in the National Railroad Museum in Green Bay. Now, the reason why I got this particular one is, again, it's Duluth Masabi and Iron Range, one of my favorite railroads, and the Minnesota area, right alongside the Great Northern, Milwaukee Road, Northern Pacific, Burlington Northern. But anyway, um, back to the matter at hand. I got this particular one, again because it's Duluth, Masabi, and Iron Range. And I've got relatives up there in Duluth and Hibbing. Well, kind of the general Iron Range area. Well, Duluth and Iron Range area. But this would have originally been... Duluth Masabi Northern Railroad number 511 became Duluth Masabi and Iron Range number 511 after the uh, Duluth Masabi Northern and absorbed a kind of a local regional railroad up there and then leased the Duluth and Iron Range Railroad and one other regional railroad that was up there. But after uh, absorbing the first regional railroad up there they became they renamed themselves the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range Railroad and that's when they leased the Duluth and Iron Range and that other regional short line railroad so well and then later on they just flat out absorbed the Duluth and Iron Range and that second short line regional railroad that was up there and that's what we knew as the and that's what we know now as the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range, which unfortunately is now part of Canadian National. But anyway, 511 was built in 1919, retired in 1959, and obviously since the 511 is not the E1 class 2102 left, that one being the 506 in Green Bay, the 511 was unfortunately scrapped. Oops, sorry about that. My foot bumped the tray table that I'm filming on right now. Anyway, yeah, this is 511 in the USRA Light 2102 and Duluth Masabi and Iron Range number 511. Now, inside the box, you get, you know, your warranty information. This little card that says it's NMRA compliant. Conforms to FCC regulations or something like that. Warranty card. And of course a bit of soft foam to actually cover the model. Sorry about that, my finger got in the way of the lens. Now anyway, as you, as you can see from the box, you've got the foam, soft foam insert. There we go, now it's back in focus, sort of. And anyway, we've got the soft foam insert. Then around the actual main locomotive, you've got, you know, kind of the nowadays typical ice block packaging. And then down around the tender, it's just a little plastic tray that they set into the foam. Now let's take, and as far as looking at the items in detail, since it's easier to get out at the moment. Let's just take a quick look at the tender. Let's get the box out of the way here. 
And here's the tender of number 511. Essentially, it's on the chassis of a USRA, well, Bachman USRA, either medium or long tender. But as you can see, it's got the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range accurate, well, specific features such as the skinnier coal bunker here, doghouse right behind the coal bunker for, you know, the head end brakeman, and of course a Duluth Masabi and Iron Range style headlight, complete with number boards non-lit. Now, capacity, well, fuel capacity on this see if I can get that in focus so you can see. Water, I'm seeing 10,000 gallon capacity and 13 and a half tons for coal. You got the little uh, switcher steps, the little steps here on the back of the tender for a brakeman, one in a yard. And I have fitted a KD scale coupling, a number 158, I believe it is, if I remember correctly from when I fitted it. Just so it's got a coupler that's, you know, more scale size. But as you can see, it's got the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range Safety First Round Herald. Now, interesting fact about Duluth Masabi and Iron Range steamers, some, like the Yellowstones, had a big what appeared to be a set of wings across the tender sides that said Duluth Masabi and Iron Range in them. Others, well, but most of the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range's fleet of steam engines had this round herald here. Alright, now on to the main event, the locomotive. Sorry if you couldn't hear me for, well, hear me very well there. I was looking away from the camera. Now, once again, it's just the standard Bachman ice block packaging. And hold on, I'm going to do something real quick so that the camera's up a little higher. Okay, now that's a bit too high. <laughs> Sorry about that, just trying to find a good camera height for the review here, so bear with me here if I adjust the camera height a bit. Now again, you know, the new standard type ice block packaging, but like the one, but like the ice block packaging from over in England, you only have the flap at the one end, not the other. So that it just flips open like so, revealing the model. Now this is the 511 as it was kind of in the late 1950s with the gray boiler black smoke box black cab roof white walled wheels and black ish gray firebox now it does have the southern style valve gear the act well the which is accurate to the prototype a delta truck well, Delta trailing truck, which is accurate to the prototype. Cab figures. The, uh, the little cab to tender foot plate kind of hatchway or you know, platform thing. Not a very detailed cab, but it's a tender engine, so you're not really going to see inside the cab a whole lot. Anyway, the roof vents are molded open and do not close then you've got all the different piping and whatnot along the sides along with the handrails dome it says 511 builders plate in the correct colors of black background with the kind of brass rim and brass lettering as opposed to on the 280's which have you know, yellow background and black lettering, but no border. Duluth Masabi and Iron Range style headlight once again with number boards saying 511, the, but they aren't lit. The road style slat pilot. And on the front, I've left the Easy Mate Mark II knuckle coupling just because I can't find a Katie Scale head coupling with a long enough shank to 
be able to extend out far enough from the front to be able to couple it up to anything with the front of the well with the front coupler. Now of course you've got the bell mounted here, smokestack, you know, domes, whistle, steam generator. Basically the same view as the other side, but with a bit more piping. Again, sorry about the finger in the way of the camera there. I keep forgetting where my camera lens is on my phone. Anyway, you've got on the side here, you've got DM and IR, RY, 511 with the E1 class designation right there, right above the white stripe along the bottom of the cab walls and right behind the 511. And on this side, builders plate in the correct black background and brass lettering and rim the correct silver cylinder uh, cylinder covers white walled wheels all the way along the locomotive and tender alright I'll be this is the end of this review now the only other modifications I've done to the locomotive besides the coupler was I've switched out the standard Bachman decoder for a Soundtracks mobile decoder. I find that I get better motor control from a Soundtracks mobile decoder than I do from the standard Bachman one. So Bachman, if you're listening to this, think about switching over to Soundtracks for your regular DCC decoders as well as your sound ones. I know you already use Soundtracks for your sound decoders, but Please, consider switching to soundtracks for your mobile decoders. Just saying. But anyway, this is the end of this review, and I will be right back with a review of yet another British model train. This is Mock Racer 4, signing off for now.